Hey guys, it's finally spring and that means the sun is shining and that there are beautiful flowers. And where there are beautiful flowers, there is delicious honey. So today we're going to make the perfect honey dessert. It's a honey tuya filled with a honey pastilla, an almond praline, a yogurt foam and some delicious honeycomb. So, let's begin. First the yogurt base. For this, pour a liter of yogurt on a sieve that's lined with a kitchen paper and let it drain for at least 24 hours in your fridge. Save both the liquid and the drained yogurt. Now let's make the pastilla. For this, pour 400 grams of the yogurt liquid into a saucepan and also add two pieces of star anise, five cardamom seeds, one cinnamon stick and a peel from one lemon. Bring this to a boil. Once it's boiling, turn off the heat and let it cool down for two minutes. After that, add three grams of your preferred tea leaves. I use silver needle tea. Now let it sit for five minutes. Then add 100 grams of ginger syrup, 50 grams of orange juice and 50 grams of honey. Now mix this well and then pass it through a fine sieve. Once that's done, use the base to fill your desired mold. This one is from Mold Brothers. Then let it set in your freezer. Now for the yogurt and honey foam. Start by soaking 2.5 leaves or 4.2 grams of gelatin in cold water. Then pour 60 grams of cream into a saucepan together with 100 grams of orange juice and 40 grams of honey. Mix this and then bring it to a boil. After that turn off the heat and dissolve the gelatin. Now mix it once more. Then pour the hot liquid on 200 grams of the drained yogurt and blend it till smooth. Do this with a hand blender or blend it in a fruit processor. Now pour it into a siphon and charge it with two charges. Shake it well after each charge. Then let it cool down completely in your fridge. The foam has a great texture and stays super stable. Now take the remaining drained yogurt and season it with 10% of icing sugar and some orange zest. Mix it well. Then transfer it into a piping bag and keep it in your fridge for later. Now for the honey tuya. Pour 60 grams of egg white into a blender and also add 40 grams of sunflower oil, 10 grams of butter, 50 grams of honey, 50 grams of flour and 2 grams of salt. Blend this till smooth. Once it's smooth you can spread it on a honey grid mold. Now level it and bake it at 160 degrees celsius till golden brown. This takes around 20 minutes. Then let it cool down completely. After that, take some more tuya batter and apply a thin layer on top of the whole mold. Now bake it for a couple of minutes till it starts to color. Now while it's still hot, gently remove it from the mold and let it cool down. Then portion it into four tuyas and trim all the edges but one short side. Now gently fold it into a cylinder and press it well so all the ends stick together. Once that's done, let them dry at 80 degrees celsius for 30 minutes till they're completely crispy. Then keep them dry and covered for later. Now for the almond praline. Mix 200 grams of sugar with 40 grams of water and caramelize it on a medium heat till it's a golden brown caramel. Once golden, add 200 grams of almonds and caramelize them for a couple of minutes till they are golden brown as well. Keep on mixing to prevent them from burning. Then pour it on a silicon sheet and spread it. Now let it cool down out of the fridge. After that, break it into smaller pieces and transfer it into a blender. Now blend it till it's almost smooth. I still want it to have a little crunch, so it will only take a minute or five. Then pour it into a bowl and keep it out of the fridge for later. If it's not 100% smooth, it will also be a lot thicker. Now for the honeycomb. Pour 100 grams of honey into a saucepan and also add 200 grams of sugar. Then heat this up till it's a light golden caramel. Meanwhile, press a piece of parchment paper together and then unfold it. Now use it to cover the inside of a bowl. Once the caramel looks like this, add 8 grams of baking soda and then quickly mix it for 4 seconds. Then directly pour it into the bowl and let it souffle as much as possible. Beware that the honeycomb might overflow, so make sure the bowl is big enough, because the mixture is very hot. Now place the bowl in a cool place and let the honeycomb cool down completely. After that, remove the parchment paper and use a serrated knife to portion it into big pieces. Keep them as big as possible till you're going to serve the honeycomb. Now keep them dry and covered for later. Then we can start to finish the dessert. First, place the cylinder on a plate and fill the bottom with a thin layer of the seasoned yogurt. Now put a frozen pastilla on top. Then add a layer of the almond praline. Put a piece of the honeycomb on top and then cover it completely with the yogurt foam. Now sprinkle some bee pollen on top and then 
it's ready to be served. So guys, that's it for today. I've already cut it in half, so the pastilla already leaked out. I put in a new one that's still frozen. Um, obviously, because I had to take a lot of pictures, B-roll, all stuff like that, the pastilla has melted. That's why I put a new one in. And as you can see, yeah, half I already ate. And let me tell you, it's super good. But let's just do a little recap. The honeycomb, it's super good. It really brings so much crispiness. Yeah, you can tell the tree already became a little bit soggy, but makes sense because it has been standing here for like half an hour. The foam is still standing though, so it's very stable. And that in combination with the pastilla and with the delicious rich praline, I think it's a winner. So, mm. that is super good. The yogurt, the honey, a little bit of orange and the almond praline. I think it's, it's a delicious dessert in texture, in flavor. Temperature, it's also spot on with the little pastilla. So I really think this is a winner for your spring menu. So guys, that's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please let me know in the comments on what you want to see next. I've said it many times before, but we are almost at 100,000 subs. Can't believe it. When I'm at 100,000 subscribers, I'm going to do my biggest giveaway so far. When you are a subscriber, you automatically enter the, the giveaway. So just subscribe, let your friends or colleagues subscribe as well. And then the sooner I hit 100,000 subs, can't believe it, really appreciate all the support. Again, hope you've enjoyed the video and as always, bon appetit.